Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Uh, time once again for my pseudo cast, and uh, this time around, just it was. I just picked this because it was something that I haven't seen in a in a while. This is probably, and this is most likely gonna jack up the file size, but at the at this point, since I'm pretty much burned out on everything else, on everything else I played, I might as well go with this. But it's. 4K cab ride. Um, you're just on a train and you're you're just moving right along. And uh, but uh, if it's gonna yeah, I say get that preview watermark out of it. God damn it! No, I mean I want to see the cat. Well, that didn't last long. Because for all two fucking hours, they're just going to show watermarks and uh, various forms of text popping up throughout the screen. So, fuck okay. you guys. I played this I played this during my stream yesterday. This one's called The Caretakers and Empty Bliss Beyond the World. I don't know I don't know what got me into this album. But this is only going to be like the third time I've heard it. And even then, I haven't been able to listen to the entire album. So... Oh, and um, I'm having a can of V8 Energy orange pineapple flavored. Okay, let me let me fix the sound from my end. Uh, but otherwise, I don't really have a whole lot tonight. Um, it just it's been one hell of a work week. Uh, my body is pretty well tore up from working the past three days. So, I wasn't exactly the most chipper guy in the world. Um, my stream was uh, okay. I think Kitaro came on for a little while, but that's about it. Um, I, basically, it was one of those times where I should have just stayed in bed. But yeah, it just... <sighs> it's just my little heart. It just... My lower back, uh, my... My lower back, my feet, um, uh, my my upper back as well. All of it was hurting, hurting from work. So, but uh, but on the upside though, I did have internet all night. Yay! So yeah, it didn't shut down. I was actually kind of anticipating that right around midnight. Uh, my ISP was gonna undergo maintenance yet again. But no, I got lucky this time and it didn't do it, so. But otherwise, um, I played I played a lot of uh, City Skylines. Surprise, surprise. Um, and it just it, I ended up uh I ended up shit canning the city and started over with another one. Uh, but the way it's going with this one, I wasn't taking this one too seriously. So chances are I might be going back and uh starting another city on my next stream, but we'll see. So yeah, but it was the same. It was the same problem as before. Um, once my city gets to a certain level, uh, traffic starts rearing its ugly head. I, I still don't know what to do to fix the issue. Cause um, the way pathing works in this game, the way the AI works in this game, all of your sims. They prioritize the shortest route from point A to point B. Like uh, even even if even if um even if their even if the path takes them into right into a traffic jam, they don't care. They'll just run walk right into it and wait. So so it's 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 next to impossible to sit there and try to pop try to bring up like um, alternate forms of transport. Um, I've tried to. Uh, I've tried making subways. They don't take them because they're too because they're out of the way. I've tried um. I've tried uh, making alternate routes, and they they won't take them because they're out of the way. The most I was able to do was um. Was designate certain areas, as um. As, uh, as car only. 
Like you can, you can ban trucks, you can ban semis in certain parts of your city. That's what I was trying to do. It only partially worked though. I mean, or uh, let me rephrase that. For for a little while, it actually worked. Like uh, they weren't. Uh, yeah, uh, trucks weren't interfering with the cars or anything like that. So for a little while, it actually did work. But eventually, uh, my population just got to a point where, where it 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 wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna work no matter what. So, so I'll prop. Uh, so I guess uh, if I can remember to next chance I get, I'll probably uh, I'll probably look up some more videos or read some more material on on uh, what to do about traffic in uh, in in city skylines. But um. My big thing on this, I've said this in other videos, but I have to be able to do this without deleting buildings. I will not bulldoze occupied buildings. So, this is probably a big issue right here. And secondly, I have no mods on this game. It's just plain Jane Vanilla SimCity. Or SimCity 15, I, I also call it. So, but a lot of the, a lot of these tutorials a lot of the, a lot of the Sim, uh, Sim City tips, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these videos are using all mods. So, it, it, when I hear that I'm, I'm using all DLC and every mod in the game, I immediately skip the video and go on to another. So, I, mean, I gotta be able to do it with just vanilla stuff. But yeah, this music here, it's all right, but eventually it just goes over my head. Big old, big old stone with a match sticking out of it. I don't, maybe because I'm a, uh, maybe because I'm thick as a brick when it comes to art, but unless it's like blatantly obvious, like the Mona Lisa or the, a picture of a, a person hanging himself or something unless it's something that's just obvious like you you know what it is stuff like this just goes o goes over my head for all for all I know it's probably just some lazy artist trying to try to make some try to make a quick buck or trying to make like 500 grand selling this stuff like abstract art where it's like ink blots and stuff like that, you know, that that kind of stuff, you know, where, you know, you just grab, you know, literally, you know, stick your hand in a in a paint can, just splash it all over a canvas, and then give it some kind of give it some kind of title like my poopy pants or something like that, and then try to sell it, you know, try to sell it to an art art museum for like five hundred thousand dollars or or whatever the going rate is for that kind of art, you know, so. You know, but again, this is, I didn't choose this music by choice as you guys just saw a few minutes ago. It's, it's also one of my big pet peeves with a lot of these videos is, is freaking watermarks. And they're almost, they're almost as bad as ads. You don't need them, you know. The name of your channel is already down there underneath the, you know, is already underneath your video. I don't need a watermark on the damn thing to, you know, to tell me this. Now, if you're gonna, I mean, if you're gonna put it in a little tiny spot in, in like a corner or something, it's less of an issue. Some people, like as you just saw, they'll sit there and just paste the damn thing towards the center of the damn screen. A little obnoxious about it. In fact, there was, a. Uh, I did try watching a video. It's just one of my one of the little quirks I got. I like watching uh, train crashes, or in this case here, uh, train accidents, like um, like stupid people driving big vans and big trucks and whatnot. But, you know, they go, "Yeah, I'm fast. I can get past that train before it hits me." Uh oh. <laughs> nope, they didn't. You know, so. But some of these would have a. Uh, these are uh, small transparent watermarks kind of like traveling through like the top part of the screen 
to, to the bottom of the screen. I see shit like that. I dislike the video and leave immediately. But but again, I'm to me watermarks are almost as bad as ads. They're obnoxious and unnecessary. So and kind of the, and and the uh, the please like and subscribe is to me is another type of ad. So. So again, if I if I hear something like that, I skip over it. If it's um, if it's an especially obnoxious one, like the kind where they show like the little, a little, what is it? I want to say a little picture-in-picture -picture movie. It'll like show the subscribe button. It'll show the little, the little, little mouse pointer and. Chuck, chuck. If they show that. I try to skip over that, but I mean, some of these are really obnoxious with it. Like, just a big old fucking picture right there towards the bottom. You know, I'm trying to watch the video, but I can't because it's like right in my face, and you hear the, don't forget to like and subscribe and click that bell for more great content. You know, it's that kind of thing. If I start, if I see that, I dislike the video and go on to something else. And I think there's a, I think there's an option. Too bad it's not like right in the vid in the video you're watching. And if there is, I haven't found it yet. But uh, you can um, there's an option where you can choose like don't show the, or don't recommend this channel. I've um, I've actually started using that now. Like if if some if if uh, somebody does do any of the aforementioned issues that I have with these YouTubers, I'll click. Uh, not interested in this or don't recommend this channel because like I said it's a major thorn in my side and yeah this is really gonna jack up my file size I didn't even know this is, uh, there was video involved in this I thought it was just a still image and I, I still don't even know I don't even know how I discovered this video either I don't have any I have no idea it just I remember be watching this or excuse me I remember be listening to this a long time ago like some odd years ago and I think it was uh, yesterday it just came up on my YouTube recommendations so but yeah um but People might think my videos are like really lo-fi, cheaply made and stuff like that, but one thing I can say about them, no ads, no watermarks. At least not, at least not, um, not, not, inter not internally anyway. And again, it's, a, and those that have, uh, that are just now watching these, um, if at any time any of my videos get flagged for copyright, 90% of the time, I delete them afterwards. So yes, my videos are going to be very lo-fi. Um, no, no fluff, nothing grand about them. Just again, very cheaply made. That's one of the reasons why. So, um, because uh, the way I'm doing it now, I'm do is being done in such a way as to keep the um, the copyright flaggage to a minimum. But like I said, even that, I don't even know if uh, this this uh, this uh, album here might, might might end up getting flagged for copyright too. So I'm actually risking this. I just thought of this. But again, I'm out of options. The stuff I have been playing, uh, Dungeon Synth, Comfy Synth, um, those those don't trip YouTube's co uh, content ID system. So, but I'm also burnt to a crisp on them from playing them so much. something else I was wanting to say too I just remember oh god what was it
Yeah, I can't even remember what it was now. But, um... But as it's been about 15 minutes right now, and, um... And I don't really want to... I really don't want to increase the file size on this any more than necessary. Um, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Like I said, I didn't really have much to begin with, so I don't want to sit here and rack my brain and try to come up with something else. So... Uh, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, and ho hopefully, excuse me, hopefully I'll have more to say. I'll have more to say tomorrow. So, but until then, uh, thanks again for coming around, everybody. See you all next time. Bye now.